What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. It's Matco Saturday. Did y'all check out that new flyer? Had my picture on the back of it. It was pretty cool. And Adam Pennington's comment was on there. So that was even better. So let's see what he's got. Come on. That's a blow gun right there. That is a blow gun. I have a lot of people like that gun. I've sold four in the last, what, two weeks? So, right. there's gotta be something good about it. I'll say the oil filter wrench box is empty. It is empty, and normally I throw that away. <laughs> but I left that there because there is so many people that saw the video on it, that's commenting, texting. You know, a lot of people on my routes calling me they're wanting their hands on those pliers. Yep. So if your dealer honestly says, hey, I've already sold out, that box he is has. proof, they're gone. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that is a big buzz. Man, when I first got that, going I was like- Going on about them, you know, and everybody's like, man, that's, that's, what I, that's what I'm buying next. That's my next purchase, you know. Well, and what's crazy is when I first got it, and she can tell you I'm not lying, I opened it up and I was like, why would they send me six? It's like, if you want to send me one or two, okay, but six? Because yep. I don't sell that much, you know, <laughs> and they're gone. So Michael knew what they were doing. Uh, heads go. up to them. I, I'm going to order some more. Don't have, but um, yeah. I, I seen uh, I seen a lot of dealers posting pictures of them, talking about how quick they sold theirs. So. Yeah, uh, that's why yeah. I, that's why I've got an empty box because I'm steadily getting comments, texts, and they and the weird thing about it is they haven't hit it online yet. Like on Mako's website, they're not even there yet. They're so new. <laughs> and we're not sold the house, so. Uh, That's a good problem to have. Hey. Especially when you're in the business of selling tools. If they can make that happen every time, go for it. I'm, yeah. I'm good. Well, that's but, a good looking shirt you got on. This is actually our jacket, and that's why I've got it on. Every time we get a new jacket or something, I try to wear it, that way I can show it off. Uh, not that I'm show off material, but. Uh, so you, you're the official Matco model, is that what no, you're saying? No, 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 no. But normally, uh, as far as hats, sunglasses, walking in every shop, I've got customers who don't, you know, don't get to come to the truck every time. They can see it and say, hey, I want one of those. So yeah, yeah we, it's comfortable. It's got uh, the oh, yeah, that's flannel nice. on the inside. It, it's nice. Um, they're calling it the, uh, what do they call it? The fall jacket or spring jacket? Spring jacket? Yeah, I, cool. had my, I had my wrong thing, but uh, the other ones are heavier. So like today, mm -hmm. when you're kind of bouncing back and forth of, uh, do I really need a jacket? Yeah. This one falls in perfect. It worked out good. We got them in yesterday and just started wearing them. I love them uh, because she likes to burn me out on the truck. <laughs> um, like sitting still, the truck gets really hot up in the cab. Uh, especially with the flags up and now that I got two flags up there's no airflow from the front to the back so it'll get really hot but then when we get going it gets really cold so mm -hmm. you know this jacket helps I'm not super super hot when she's trying to burn me up up there and I'm not well, super cold when I'm I like off, them I'll have to get me one of them pretty cool so that is what it is so I wanted uh, you bought something a couple of weeks ago or maybe a month ago and I wanted to see if you could tell me. I've had really good luck with them. Did you buy this one or did you buy the flat one? Uh, I bought the flat one. Well, let me find it. I know it's here somewhere. Uh, you know where that, oh, there it is. So what's no, your didn't. opinion on them? I bought that one. That's the okay. one I bought. I couldn't tell by the, I was looking through here. Yeah, that's the one I bought. I like it. So I had a guy who was going through the 10 pack super quick of the mm -hmm. regular ones. To the point that he said, okay, look, I'm just going to buy the cheapest of the cheap. That way, when I go through them and I'm having to replace them every week, yeah. it's not as much. Uh, I understood. I said, okay. Well, he started going to like Lowe's, Home Depot. I think he even said he went to Harbor Freight once or twice to get them. Well, anyways, they, he just kept going through them, kept going through them. Knew he was. That's why he was buying cheaper ones. 
but I actually got this one in and after uh, a little thinking about it and it says it extends life by 2,000 percent you know I was like oh, let's give the guy a try so I asked that guy if he'd be willing to try it out buy it if it if you're not completely happy with it I'll refund your money mm -hmm. and he did he bought it now these things ain't the cheapest you yeah. know they're what 40 40 bucks 39 40 bucks somewhere in there in that ballpark may not be exact and he bought it he paid for it um, he wouldn't use it for free. He, he's that type of guy. If I'm gonna, you know, I, I didn't tell him he had to pay for it, but mm -hmm. if I ask him to try it, he's gonna buy it. He's not gonna just right. do it. But so he bought it, um, and we're going on what two? Three weeks. Well, we're two, three weeks. This guy's used it, hasn't went through it. Still sharp, still cutting. Hadn't had to buy any more. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to see if he, if you fell in the same line of them. Uh, because when I when people buy them, they they ask the price, and the first thing I go is for one. Yeah. Yeah, but it lasts super a lot longer. So. I actually used mine last week. You know, I'm working on the new studio. I don't know if when y'all seen it, if y'all noticed the blue ratchet that I got hanging up in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I built that, it's a metal rod, is what it is, or a flat stock, and I rounded the ends off, and I welded a socket to it, and painted it, and that's what the ratchet's hanging in. And that cutoff wheel there is what I did that with, like yeah. I, you know, shaped the corners. I could have done it on a bench grinder, but I had my angle grinder out anyway yeah. while I was cutting it off. And I just, you know, traced a radius, I guess yeah. is the proper term for that. And I cut it all, almost all of it with that and final yep. ground it with it. So so I always have people ask when they get on the tool truck, the, the number one thing is, what you got cheap? For what this is, for what it does, mm -hmm. it's cheap, it's inexpensive and it lasts. Yeah. So these two here, if you're in the body shop, you're doing a lot of cutting. It's no by, by no means uh, a new tool. Um, we've had it for a while now, but give that a try. You know, mm -hmm. it, it different applications. It may last longer. This guy that that, that I'm referring to, he works in um, like a salvage yard type deal, um, but they rebuild wrecks as well. So he's tearing one car completely apart to get the pieces he needs to build the right. new car. So um he does a lot of cutting so for it to last three weeks with him i thought that was you know really good because the cheapest of those packs are what ten dollars a pack yeah. and he's going through you know mm -hmm. uh, a pack a week so what i hate about it is just the downtime when you have to out. turn and swap them out because yeah like you know as well as i do you can set it down on the table just a little hard yeah or like you know in my case i had the arrows right. hang on the yep. <clears throat> on the vice and when it when it hit down it just shattered it, you know. So yeah. I think the a brand worst new thing wheel is was gone when those come apart using them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I like the design of this. It, I mean, it it appears that even when it gets dull, it's not going to um, get smaller in size because it appears that it's metal coated with the diamond. So, I mean, the whole thing is that. So I know it will start wearing down, but once you get past that, it's not really right. going to be doing a whole lot of cutting anyway. So. You're not, it's not gonna get super small, you know. So the good thing about it is, is it's less likely for this thing to shatter apart. Them things True. are bad about it. And, yeah. and I've been a victim of it when doing a frame job or two of those shatter while using them. And mm -hmm. you know, I didn't get hit by it, so I can't contest to that, but I'm sure no. somebody has before. Yeah, I've had them come apart, but luckily they didn't hit me either. Yeah, man. so I mean, that's that's something that, like I said, um, look up 8151 and see how much that is. Uh, let me get the part numbers on these because somebody's going to want to know. Yeah, so I actually shot this one a little high. I said it was like 40 bucks. It's actually 30 uh, in my area right now. It, it varies per area. area. But, uh, so, to, to pay 30 bucks, he's done got that back. So, yeah. anytime he goes over uh, any... And that was what Tuesday, uh, no Wednesday. So yeah, Wednesday was three weeks for him. So any time over that, he's he's saving money. And he mm -hmm. said it wouldn't dull. It would. So that's a good thing. Uh, I don't really have anything new today per se, but I wanted to kind of show a couple of deals that is like this. That's that's relatively inexpensive and good to have. The next one is one of y'all's favorites here. Um, or used to be i don't i don't know if you still use it a lot it's oh a yeah power yeah. ground outlet if i've actually got two of those remember because <laughs> after i bought the first one i bought a second one to yeah. put in a service truck but yeah. so this thing here um it's been around for i don't know how long forever probably but if you're doing any time type of electrical in a car 
you know you're doing any type of a dagging or anything this thing right here is a must have yeah uh, if you've ever tried to check fuses underneath some of these dashes and you're a little heavy set like I am you keep pulling the the, the yeah you yeah. keep pulling the ground off and I know they got the ones that you ground mm -hmm. yourself um, but not everybody's got those yeah but if you're like me and you kept pulling the, the ground off or you couldn't find a good ground this thing right here just plug it in the cigarette lighter mm -hmm. clip it to it and then it's away from you because you're not yep. laying across the center console right. to check the fuses you're laying right there in the doorway mm -hmm. where you've tried to either on the striker or on a bolt or something I've seen people even do it on the firewall and, 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 and it just, it keeps clipping off. This thing right here is inexpensive and it gives you a power side too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're going to do anything uh, where you're checking power and ground, this this thing right here is worth this money. It's inexpensive. Right. You know, you can get this thing and save yourself a lot of trouble. Plus, I don't know about uh, a lot of y'all, but when I worked in a dealership, at least once a week, somebody would bring in and say, my cigarette lighter's not working. Yeah. You just and stick in and there with the light comes yeah, on. Yeah, you don't you know. know it. And the first thing that comes to our mind is, well, they bought a cheap uh, charger. Yeah. You know, because that's what they're going to say. My, my phone charger won't charge it. You know, and they bought a cheap charger. It blowed the fuse, or mm -hmm. or maybe it's just a cheap charger in general, and it won't. It, it, the tr it, stick this in there, and then you're not having to worry about that charger. Stick it in there. If it, if it lights up, they're good to go. Uh, and I think the one of the most common things we saw was pennies fall down in there. Yeah. Depending on where Shorted it was at, it yeah. you know, a penny would fall in there, and you'd change the fuse, and it'd pop, you know. Uh, but before you have to lay down and get on the floor and check fuses, just throw this thing in there. That, mm -hmm. Man, look, it's working. You're good to go. So that's good. What I like about those, for guys that work on big trucks, especially if you're having to work in the sleeper of a truck, yeah. there's no ground, there's nothing to ground to in a big truck hardly anyway, inside the yeah. truck. You know, and, and guys are always having trouble with their CB power, you know, their you know lights, their map lights, this and that. But in a sleeper, we worked on one where we had an issue where coming out of the sleeper controls, there's a wire broke somewhere. And that thing right there made life so much easier. I took my that magnetic test lead reel that yeah. I bought from you, and man, you was able to reach everything. You had a solid ground, and you know. Well, and the the thing about this is, uh, for people that don't want to go out and buy a power probe right up, right yeah. up front, which I will say, everybody needs power probe. Mm -hmm. You know that that's not made by any one. You know that's. Snap-on carries them, Maco carries them, Cornwell, every tool truck brand out there carries right. Power Probe. None of us make them. They're all by Power Probe. But if you're not there yet, because <laughs> some of the guys that have Power Probe, it's, well, it gets power and ground. Well, it does so much more than that. Yeah. And that's learning how to do mm -hmm. that. But if you're just at the power and ground, that thing just supplies, uh, the basic ones just supply right. 12 volts. If you've got a test light and you got this thing, you mm -hmm. can supply 12 volts. It's not always the right thing to do to supply yep. 12 volts. Well, we actually did that in that truck that I was yeah. telling you about. So to me, of course, you know, I'm lazy. I mean, I, I, I admit it, I'm lazy. I knew, I said, well, maybe here's our problem. So I applied power yeah. and sure enough, yeah. So it's not always the just right the answer. test leads. You know, you know? And that's <laughs> the thing that scares me about power probes is somebody that comes on and don't even really know how to use a voltmeter is trying to get into the power probe. Well, right. it tells me what voltage just got. Well, you know, well, and I can add power and ground. Well, see, that's the thing. When do you add power? Well, when I think it needs power. Well, no. if, if you haven't <laughs> looked and you don't know, if you, you know, uh, in in my eyes, if, if you don't know when that thing's supposed to have power, don't do not do it, you know, mm -hmm. um, because I've seen a lot of ECMs and stuff get burned yeah. up with that. And a Prius was one of them, but, you know, and that got, that got expensive quickly because somebody didn't know what they were doing and they had applied power and just so happened it was a ground circuit if you've worked on plenty of them and you know yeah give it power if this is your first time working on it and yeah. you just think that wire is supposed to have power don't because <laughs> some stuff is actually ground power and you know it has power all the time and it's supplied mm -hmm. ground so and now really there's no excuse for that because you know you got a Denafix and you know well, uh, mitchell one there's so many online resources to get a wiring diagram and I agree, but so many people don't know how to read one. And I didn't know that. And, and yeah. I've always said that I liked electrical. Electrical is one of those things that I have more fun with anything. Right. And it's, I guess it's because I don't, I'm not paid on it anymore. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not a commission tech. So electrical, if it takes me two weeks, guess what? 
I'm having fun those whole two weeks. Not really. About after a week of it, I'm probably tired of it. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, I do like chasing the problem. I like looking at the wiring diagrams. Yeah. You know, that's the blueprints to our cars, right? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, somebody that builds houses, they look at blueprints. We look at wiring diagrams. Yeah. Uh, and I, I swear some of our wiring diagrams are just confusing as theirs, you know. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Probably worse. Yeah, well, and, you know, they, they teach you. I've seen so many different methods to read them. Uh, when I when I had an apprentice underneath me, you know, he would try to just look at the whole picture, and I'm like, dude, you gotta get a highlighter, mm -hmm. highlight that thing out, trace it, you know, yeah. know which way it's going. But you know, well, it, now you know with Identifix, you can actually click the wire, yeah. and it kind of isolates or grays out everything else, and yeah. if one wire is highlighted, it's really nice the way they. Yeah, got it. and Toyota had it on our uh, computers to where you could right click on it, and it that wire would flash, yeah. and you could follow it. Um, that's great, but sometimes you need to print it out yeah. and put it right on. And, and you're trying to chase multiple wires. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the time, we only had one computer, and somebody was trying to do an update. Somebody was trying to do this. So, so we had to print it out. So the quickest yeah, thing to do was just take a highlighter, it. highlight it, and then uh, I would always tell him, when you're done, you know that wire's good, take your Sharpie, go back over it, black it out, start your next wire. Right. Um, some people like that idea. Some don't. Everybody can read it different. Some mm -hmm. people can look at that thing and it not confuse them at all they can trace it with no problem black right. and white they did it for years i like them to be different colors mm -hmm. i you know what color is the wire <laughs> oh it's blue because it's blue on this picture but you know, <coughs> you know but i know now i've had them where the wiring diagram would call it like a pink wire with a yellow chaser yeah. you know yeah. you get in there and now it'd no be a white wire with a red on terminal four like it shows yeah you know, sometimes you have to look at the terminal and, yeah. and that's the first thing if you look at it and sometimes they are black but they got the um wording beside it it'll yeah. be initials um toyota had this fantastic idea to do the initials at one point and there was a couple that you could mix up and i mean pink and purple mm -hmm. i mean if you got paint a p in as a p so how do i know pink or purple well, but that's better than freightliner like when they build freightliner trucks they use two color wires yellow and white well and then they print on there like yeah. it'll be like you know wiper or whatever you know whatever you're chasing down but as soon as you wipe the dust off of it so you can read it the writing goes off too so it's a yeah well and it's very frustrating these guys that work on freightliner they'll they'll yeah. they'll be in the comments like you're right that's the worst thing ever well <laughs> but and they use two color wires and that's it so i'm not going to throw out what i was working on but i was recent and i'm pissing to move off electrical i know people's like all right go on but um I think the thing that drives me the, the, the craziest is when somebody does electrical that shouldn't. Uh, we went into one, a dash the other day, and a backup camera wasn't working. And man, it had butt connectors, but that's fine. I mean, I, I don't like butt connectors, mm -hmm. I like solder. We've been through that. They what? They were poorly installed. But then the worst thing is they had wing nuts from a house wiring. Oh no! That drives me. I fixed the radio crazy. in here that was done with with like, that. And don't do that. So we, I mean, we soldered them and and heat shrinked them. And but, come on, man! If you're going mm -hmm. to a hardware store to pick up wing nuts, even if you've got them in your house, don't use them. Yeah. Uh, somebody probably does. But connectors are better than wing nuts. <laughs> for yeah. Sure. The next cool tool that I wanted to bring up was these wheel and stud installers. Uh, these things have been around for a while. I know people are still using washers and whatever, you know, right. oversized uh, nuts, whatever you're using. But these things, they got a bearing in there, quick, simple. It's something inexper uh, inexpensive. And if you're working in anywhere, you've probably seen where somebody's either messed up the stud before you or it strips coming off, whatever it might be. This is mm -hmm. something to have in your toolbox that's going to, you know, you're not going to mess up the lug nut. You know, I think that's the worst thing ever is going, stripping it. Yeah, yeah you know, you, you okay, the stud's broke. So I beat the stud out, I put the new one in, now I'm putting the new one in. Well, guess what? I just messed up the lug nut. So now I got to call it a lug nut. Well, yeah. we don't have one. Or, <laughs> Always. The, 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 I think the, the biggest problem that I've seen, if they do have one, they send it to you and it looks absolutely nothing like the customer the lug nut. Yeah. So, you know, this thing right here, it'll save you. Uh, we used to keep one of the cheaper lug nuts just so we didn't use the customer lug nut, but this right here, I mean, come on. It's cheap, it makes that job that you don't want to do anyway. I don't mm -hmm. know anybody that's tickled to death to have studs to be installed. You know, that's, when we used to have to do them for our quick loop, that was probably the worst thing ever. We yeah. got paid for them, we did, they pay nothing. You know, you'd rather be doing something else, so. Yeah.
That's true. That's something else. Uh, there's several more, you know, little cool gadgets here and there, but I don't want to take too much of your time up. But uh, when you get on a tool truck, if you're not looking to spend a whole lot of money, you know, I know that's the big thing right now. Uh, just coming off Christmas and we had time off and all that, everything going on, everybody's looking to spend less money. These little cool tools will speed up your job, make it easier. This one's going to save you money. This one right here is going to make your job easier. This one here is going to save you money and make your job easier. Right. So that's just three tools. I mean, we could go on and on from the little magnets to the, you know, brushes uh, to whatever we might use. There's different applications, but there's several things on the tool truck that don't cost much. That's it. All right, guys. Well, that wraps us up today. Like always, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Any word on the blue ratchets yet when they're going to be here? Uh, distributors are actually starting to get them uh, pretty fast and furious. Um, we've got six packages held at UPS right now to go pick up, so I'm hoping mine's in it. Mm -hmm. um, but me too. You know, they they <laughs> told us that the, they told us that the back order on those because of everything that was going on wasn't going to be long. Good. Um, Good. They were pretty confident that uh, we're going to be able to get these up and going. We're going to be delayed a couple of weeks. At, you know, so I haven't heard anything change. They told me when I asked about them um, two weeks tops. But now stuff changes, so I may get there the day they not be there. I might call, but you know. I've seen a lot of pictures of distributors who've got them. One guy had 10 of them. Wow. So, I mean, clearly they, they're, they're, they're coming, coming out man. somewhere. So yep. we just got to get on down the list. And, <laughs> and with all the back order stuff, guys, um, definitely from our meetings and stuff, it's really whoever gets it sent in first. Yeah. Used to, they would spread these meetings out and everybody would, you know, we may have ours at the end of the month. They may have theirs at the beginning. Now everybody's trying to do it like the first day of the month. That way they first to submit it so yeah all right well hopefully they'll be here soon all right guys thanks for watching hit the thumbs up merchandise over here cool tools and discount codes are down in the description like always if you're not subscribed click that button just press it you guys have a great week and we will catch y'all next time see ya